Hi there, Peter here. And in today's session, I want to respond to a question that I got in a recent email from one of our leaders, Maxine, who asked, before our meditation session, is there something that we can do to protect ourselves for the meditation session? That was the question. And um, initially it got me thinking of you know, various traditions and beliefs in uh, sort of spirits and that. And I want to respond to that um, at, at the end of this blog. But first of all, I guess my main thought is that the meditation itself is probably the biggest protection of your mind that there is. And I want to just share a little story about my kids to illustrate a point. You see, in our house, we have like a token system. So basically, when the kids do their jobs and when they do extra jobs, they get white tokens. But if they do something bad, then they get black tokens. Now, whether you agree with that or not, that's the system we sort of have. And they can spend their tokens on screen time or whatever. Now, one of the things I have is that, uh, you know, you have to do a job for like 15 minutes or whatever to earn one token. But if you use if you use violence or if you are caught lying, then the penalty is like five negative tokens or five black tokens that take take that down. And my um, one of my sons came and he says, you know, it's not fair. We work like half a day to earn five tokens. And then just in a matter of a second, uh, we can lose it all in one go. And I said, yeah, that is the reality of life. And I think that's true for a lot of us. I know, for example, in the Buddhist tradition that I studied in, they said it's really hard to make white karma or good karma, and it's really easy to lose that good karma. And it's so true that in a moment, a flash of anger, we can do so much damage if we strike out at someone or say something nasty that really hurts somebody. And later we can feel, oh, you know, we didn't mean to say it. But in that moment, we can create so much damage in the world uh, that, you know, it takes weeks to repair it. You know, one wrong uh, uh, wording and you hurt somebody and you can do irreparable damage to a friendship. So I think meditation uh, allows us to really uh, avoid those flashes of anger, at least it does for me. One of the things that meditation has done to me is it's helped me keep an even keel, a, a state of equanimity, where I don't, I'm not prone to suddenly basically losing it. And so in that way, meditation itself definitely protects us um, against, you know, well, negative actions which can have long lasting damage, not only uh, on ourselves, on, on, on others, um, but you know, the whole environment. Now, I guess getting back to Maxine's point, uh, there is sort of, I guess, some sort of, um, uh, you know, implication or whatever that, you know, there are spirits or whatever. So I know from the Christian tradition, one of the, uh, thoughts that some sects in Christianity have is that if you go into meditation, you open your mind up to the devil. So I've done a blog on this to explain why Christians think this way and why I actually think it's a lot of nonsense. So I'm totally against that point of view. Um, I just don't buy it. Uh, I know that in the Hindu and Buddhist traditions, you know, there are beliefs in spirits and that at certain times we can open ourselves up to that. I know that uh, they suggest that uh, at midnight and midday and on the dawn and the evening, the spirits are a little bit more active. Again, I don't pay too much mind to that because I actually believe that um, because our perception is projection, if you think the spirits are going to bother you, then they will. And if you just don't buy into any of that stuff, um, 
then you don't get affected by the spirits. It's as simple as that. Whether they actually exist or not, um, I'm not going in to enter into that debate. The point is, if you believe they will cause you trouble, then chances are you'll be more prone to that. My biggest tip about protecting oneself is our uh, motivation or our intention for doing anything. So whatever we do, if we have a positive intention, I believe that that both motivates and protects you. So that's why, again, uh, I'm going back to my practices, particularly in the Buddhist tradition. We do prayers that may this benefit the whole of humanity. You know, whatever I do here, you know, we do that for each meditation, but we really should be doing it for um, every action we do in life. May whatever I'm doing at work or uh, in social things, may that benefit me, benefit others, and benefit the whole world. And if you have that uh, as positive an attention as intention as possible, uh, then you will protect not only your own mind, but you will help others to the maximum as well. So thanks for the question, Maxine. It really got me thinking about things. And I hope you all enjoy this blog and it's given you something to think about.